I awoke to my alarm blaring at 5.45 a.m. Ah, the first day of school, I thought to myself. I got up and started to get ready. I showered, got dressed, and made sure I had everything I needed for my first day of 10th grade. After that, I walked downstairs to eat breakfast. As I poured my bowl of cereal, I noticed my mother hysterically crying, hunched over the counter, clutching my old baseball jersey. I thought it was a bit odd, but my mom was always dramatic. I thought she was just making a big deal about me going back to school. I asked her what was wrong, and she never answered me. She never even looked up or acknowledged me. So I left the house and headed to my bus stop. I figured my dad and little sister would be able to console my mom better than I could have anyways. After a long bus ride, I got to school. I already saw my class schedule online and memorized it, so I knew exactly where to go. First bell rang, and I was the first to class. I sat in the far back because I didn't want people looking at me the whole time I was in that class. After 10 minutes, the teacher took attendance. Becca Ackerson, here. Darren Albert, here. Jacob Bentley, here, I called. Jacob Bentley, the teacher asked again. Here, I'm right here, I said as I waved my hands in the air. Well, looks like he's missing out on the first day, Miss Smith said. No one even noticed me. No one even looked at me. It was like I wasn't even there. I thought that maybe there was just some weird thing going on, so I just let it be. By the end of the day, all seven of my teachers marked me absent and my friends ignored me. They seemed abnormally sad, yet they still ignored me when I asked what was wrong. I didn't think much of it, I'm often forgotten, so I'm used to it at this point. After I got home, I realized there were more cars around my house than usual. There were more people, too. I walked into my house. I didn't see anyone, but I heard talking coming from the backyard. I put my bag down and headed outside to see what was going on. I couldn't believe my eyes. It was... a casket. There was a casket in my backyard. All of my friends and family were all dressed in dark, sad colors. I hollered, what's going on? No one replied. No one even acknowledged that I was standing there. So I walked over to the casket, and I saw my body lying there, blue and lifeless.